Okay. okay. Well, hello guys. Uh, welcome back to the fabulous Handy Capable Kitchen. And today we are going to be making uh, meatball subs. Caitlin, as you like to say, let's start cooking. Alrighty. So, first things first, you gotta put your uh, one pound of ground beef in your little pot. Ew. Um, but you can also you can also substitute for chicken or you know if you're vegan you can make like vegan style meatballs or vegetarian meatballs. Did you get it all in there? I think you did. We have, we're gonna get our hands dirty today, Caitlin. <laughs> Are you ready for it? Okay. And then uh, you just, like, I chopped, I went ahead and chopped some onion last night. And then uh, usually what I do is I usually get uh, like a garlic clove, but I thought about for time's sake and everything else, you, you can use jarred garlic. Um, but we'll just keep a roll. So, after you put your egg in, well, okay. So let me, oh. So we did that, put our egg in. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Um, there we go, let me wash these. Goopy hands. So you got you got the egg in, and then Kaylin, would you do the honors and go ahead and put the half a cup of breadcrumb in there in the mixing bowl? You can go over; it's fine. It's just kind of. I usually use Italian breadcrumbs, but you can use any breadcrumbs you want. And then we'll do the uh, we'll do the teaspoon of salt. There we go. That should be good. And then a teaspoon of dried basil. There we go, right here. Or you can use fresh, but basil's not really in season right now. So you can substitute for dried basil. There you go. And then uh, some garlic, one teaspoon of garlic. Oh, that's good. a lot, but that's okay. We'll get some garlic meat balls. Uh, okay. And then you need one fourth cup. Uh, diced onions. Up. Wanna help me here, Kim? I actually diced these my, myself when I was very depressed. Well, not depressed. Very impressed because I didn't cry like a cry like a baby. Because the the the, the crazy thing that people do is when they always cut onions, they always. I always cut the ends off first, and actually what happens when you do that, uh, when you cut off the ends first, you actually make the onion bleed, and that's what uh, causes you to cry. I actually learned that from... I know uh, I'm the one who um, can't cut onions, because it makes me cry. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we got that. Oh, you might want to pick that up off, 
flour to the dogs and eat it. <laughs> because onions are bad for dogs. Very bad. Um, okay. <clears throat> and next, we will need just a little thing of black pepper. Good enough. Right. And once you put all your ingredients aside, this is where we're going to get our hands dirty. So, all right, this is where the love comes. Can they make sure you get all the, the bread crumbs and the egg? and everything. Oh yeah, you want to set your oven to preheat to 375 because the traditional way to make the Italian way to make meatballs is you would do it on the to stove top and so you would like pan fry it on the stove top and heat up your sauce and, and then you would finish finish cooking your balls in the sauce but today it's we're doing it the Americanized baked way okay so all right Caitlin we need a uh, a, uh, a pan to put our meatballs in hey, uh, Like one day and that's because I actually, uh, well, we, you don't want to, oh yeah, that's the other thing too. Once everything's pretty well incorporated, uh, you want, well, you put, you want to like spray the, spray the pepper and it doesn't stick. Do you have, do you have foil, Caitlin? Um. Yeah, you spoil. Get the pulling oil. Out. Do something ahead of time, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> I guess that can work. I'd be another one. Okay, and it's kind of pretty crappy. Yeah, that works. That does look pretty sad, but that's all right. My my love life is pretty sad. So. <laughs> Thank you, cameraman, assistant, voice man Brad, for helping us. Thank you. All right, thank you. Yep. Do you have cooking spray, Caitlin? A non-stick cooking spray that you could use, or maybe some, like some, like a little thing of olive oil, or vegetable oil, vegetable oil. Do you have cooking spray, like? <laughs> what's your We got no spray. Oh, I don't you guys don't have spray. <laughs> no, that's fine. Uh, we'll just put, we'll just put some, uh, 
Well, it should be fine, because mm. there's some foil on it. Mm. We'll just, okay. Alright, so, when you make your balls, you want them to be about uh, the size of a golf ball, as they say. Take your fingers and just do that, and put some love into it, and then you just start forming your balls. We you need help. Yeah, you can. Are you ready to get your hands dirty, Caitlin? Just make them about golf size. Golf ball size. Mm. I think it, well that's, that's tiny as hell. But well, that's alright. <laughs> that'll be your, that'll be your ball. <laughs> it's okay. You want, and you don't want to over, you don't want to overdo it. Because. I think I overdid this one. Well you don't want to, um, you don't want to, uh, uh, like handle, handle the meat too much, because I forget what it does. Mm -hmm. well, that's what they, that's what they say. Um, okay. If you mess with ground beef or anything like that, the fat content from, like, in the meat, and the warmth from your hands causes it to melt and it does something weird and they say it like uh, makes your meatball dry and all this. Right. Well usually at home, like what I'll do is I'll, I'll get all fancy and use the, the high quality beef, but this is Andrew Cable Kitchen. We're, we're showing y'all like you know, how to cook on a budget, pretty much, kind of thing. Yeah. But thank you, Brad, for that insight. Yes. I was actually looking for that answer, but thank you. Yes. That is why you are the comedic man. Yes. And you have Our knowledge, answer. actually, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So once you get all your meatballs. Well, you can make them as big as you want, but usually they recommend a golf ball size because then they'll evenly cook better that way. Because hmm. I, I remember the first time doing this, I, uh, I actually made my meatballs too big, and my mom's like, whoa, those are some uh, big meatballs. So, Mamma mia, that's the some species to cut spicy meatballs, Jack. Sorry. Take 28. I'll tell me that. Thank you, Josh. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Cut. Thank you, Josh. Thanks for that commentary. You're welcome. That's what I was looking for. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia, it's the meatball. Okay. So, after you get all your. Meatballs formed and everything. Uh, you want to put them on top of the oven for 25 minutes. Here, Caitlin, okay, you want to show them? Nice. Uh, I guess. I like making meatballs because it's kind of, it's kind of, it's a fun activity to do with the family. 